Okay, here's the situation. You are a single mom, and your daughter is smoking weed all the while their, her dad is enabling it. What do you do? That's today's question on Tips on Teens. My name is Kent Toussaint. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist who specializes in helping kids, teens, and families live happier lives. I run two organizations. The first, Teen Therapy Center, a group private practice. Also, the nonprofit organization, Child and Teen Counseling, both here in Woodland Hills, California. Every Wednesday, I come to you live on Facebook Live to answer your parenting questions. Thanks for emailing them in. Let's dive into today's question. I caught my daughter smoking weed for the third time this week. I just don't know what to do with her. I can't get her to talk to me. The last few times, I grounded her and took away her phone. I'm limited on what I can do. I'm a single mom of two and work seven days a week to support them. Dad is in a halfway house and has been everything but a parent. He lets her smoke and keeps it from me and makes my son keep it from me. He is an alcoholic who has abused drugs and alcohol. My kids had a rough childhood. They witnessed fights between him and myself. They've seen and heard the abuse. I can't get a straight answer from her if that's why she's acting out and being defiant. Thank you for emailing your question. There's a lot going on with this, so I wanna dive into what's going on here. First, your kids are going through a tremendous time as well as you. So first, we have these two kids. I'm not exactly sure their ages. I imagine this daughter's a teenager. Maybe the brother's a little younger. Um, so their parents are split up. Uh, their dad is active in his addiction and enabling the daughter and enlisting the younger brother to help enable, all the while gaslighting you for trying to protect and support your daughter. Uh, that's a rough situation. On top of that, you have a situation where dad has been incarcerated again. Um, you're working seven days a week, just trying to make ends meet, so finances are probably really tight, and that's a strain and a burden on the family. Uh, on top of that, if you're working seven days a week, by the time you get home, you must be exhausted. On top of that, you still gotta cook dinner, you gotta do laundry, you gotta pay bills, and you know you have to sleep yourself. All the while, when are, where's the time to kind of nurture and and promote that healthy relationship between you and your kids? It's it's compromised. I'm not saying it's impossible, but you have you all have a lot of obstacles in front of you. So, what I would suggest is number one, get help. Trying to do this alone. It, it's, it's, that's going to be an overwhelming task, as already it is. Uh, down below in the text, I've listed several resources, several websites uh, that are specifically focused on supporting single moms. These are nonprofit organizations that I believe all the services are free. I encourage you to check out those websites. Also, Al Anon, Alateen, 12 step groups for people who've been affected by family members who are uh, active addict addicts or have been active in addiction and needing to process and go through that. These are free services. Uh, I understand you're working seven days a week, but in, you probably don't have a lot of time to get out, but do your best to find time to help you and your kids get support, whether it's through you know, some of these nonprofits or other nonprofits where you can get individual and family counseling. I think that's really important. Child and teen counseling, the nonprofit I run, we do offer services. It's sliding scale, it is not free. Uh, but we do try to you know, support family members as best we can and work with the families, offer them fees that will work for them. There are many services around. There's Medi-Cal. You may be on a waiting list for a while, unfortunately, but uh, if you can get on a Medi-Cal provider, you will have free services. Um, but don't do this alone. Reach out to family members. Reach out to neighbors, friends. Can anyone, you know, kind of come in and just make dinner for a night, you know? Uh, can someone do the grocery shopping for you? Can someone just hang out with the kids? Can someone help you get a day off so you can rest, so you can be present for your kids? Right now, this daughter is distancing herself from you, and there could be a lot of different reasons why for that is. And having her talk to someone, a therapist, who can help you guys bridge that gap, and someone who specializes in working with kids and teens, so they can speak teenager, and they can speak parent, and they can speak both, and help you guys come together, and find that middle ground, I think is really, really important. Um, there's a lot going on, and my heart goes out to you because this, this is a tough situation. Um, but if you stay trying to push through this alone, I'm afraid nothing's gonna change. You can't change your ex. You can't change what he's gonna do. He's gonna do what he's gonna do, and there's nothing you to change that. All you can do is how do you adapt? How do you get support and resources around you so you can withstand 
whatever he's going to do. And so you can support your daughter and your son in learning how to have the resist resilience as well. Um, not an easy situation to deal with, um, but get support. If you have more questions, you can always call us here at Teen Therapy Center or Challenging Counseling or you know, message us here on Facebook. If you have a question you'd like us to answer, please email us at tipsonteens at teentherapycenter.com. We'd love to answer your questions. And uh, stay safe, and I'll see you guys next week on Facebook Live. Bye-bye.